25. That was not there 30 years ago. At least that section of it. You can hear some of the trucks. If I look down a lot, I do. The terrain is very uneven. You twist an ankle to the point that you can't walk. You're going to have a hard time getting back to the trailhead. Man, I can't believe it. how the sun could be setting like that. It's so early. It's that time of year. Yeah, the the I'm, I don't know what these posts are. No idea. Maybe somebody does. Someone unfairly said that because I didn't know what certain things were that meant that I was a novice to the woods and hardly a novice to the woods. It's just that when you go alone, you find things you don't have anyone asking questions to. So you don't, there's no way you can acquire knowledge. Try to look these things up. I mean, you know, there's no information about this area. It's just, just none. So you're not going to find out anything. Wow. This may have been where... This may have been where Kevin and, and, and John Tudor came in. Man, I think I know where they part too. That's way out there. And they said they found their way to this camp, but I don't know how they knew where to turn. It's not like there's any landmarkers out here. This is a new phone. Yeah. So if you figure it out, if you figure out where the camera's at. Yeah. file so far. I believe this is a swift mud area. Southwest Florida water management. Because it's a watershed. And you'll find why. Because when we go down this path, there's the dirt mound. We go down there, we're going to go in a massive, massive swamp. Now, we haven't had rain in six weeks. Excuse me. Yeah, about six weeks. So, stuff's going to be dry. Which is good. It's receded with the fine prints.
Kevin, I believe we start up here where where the nature photographer was shooting birds and the Sasquatch ran right across this trail and Florida BFRO came out of here and they determined that there was a whole bunch of what they call Squatch Paths which, which we found Kevin and I found them Sort of like what you get in here. If you're new to Bigfooting, you see areas that appear not just near deer paths, but things, general critters you got, whatever state you're in. We're, uh, we're an SEC state. Boy, it's pretty out here, isn't it? Wow. It's the only time of year these trees don't have leaves on them. Man, this is really pretty. I think I want to get a photo of it. You people up in Ohio, you're like, what? Pretty? There's these trees, no leaves on them. We see that all the time, huh? Come on. I don't need a picture of me. I know what my ugly mug looks like. I'm up here. Not much of a wide angle on this thing. It's, I just got it three days ago. Anyway, I encourage anybody to, to, uh, to get out in the woods, get moving. It's the journey, it's not the destination. Just don't get into the, you know, you come up on something, you know. Sorry, don't, don't destroy nature. But if this was, uh, I didn't mean, I did not mean to do that. But if you walk up and you see that, don't don't go, oh man, that's up, uh, uh, the guy was as big as Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, it must have been, it must have been a skunk ape. To, come on, stop it. Stop it. You only sound ridiculous. And what's even more ridiculous is that the, the hordes of people that are going to believe you. See, here's, a, here's, here's what they refer to as a Squatch Way. And uh, my experience in the woods, they may be right. I mean, when you take the path of least resistance, you just tear up the bushes every time you go somewhere. I hope this camera's still running. I'm, it's the first time I've taken it out in the field. I've just played around with it at my house, but a little red light that only I can see in the lens is uh, still blinking, so it's, it's still working theoretically. It's got a micro microprocessor, micro media chip. Supposed to be one gig, so imagine that. Yeah, I'll tell you a weird, strange story. When Kelly and I were out here, yeah, something flew in my nose. I had a an energy drink deal. Wow, that used to be that used to be filled with water. I had an energy drink. It was optic lime color. And I do not believe in littering at all. So, what I did is I said, Kevin, here. I was carrying a heavy backpack. I don't, I don't want to take it off. It's cool with it that day. Because I had a tripod and a camera in my hand. And this. So, I'll tell you what. I dropped it right in the middle of the trail. Right there. I said, look, you just can't miss it. This thing will glow in the dark. It's just an optic color. So, on the way out of here, I'll pick it up. So, when we were coming through... To leave, it was gone. It was gone. I mean, what a squirrel run out and grabbed a 32 ounce empty can. I mean, something removed it. It's just another mystery that will never be known.